Hi YouTubers, thanks for joining me. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a really interesting um, piece of equipment which I think everybody should have in their consumer unit. It is a um, piece of, basically this is, this is it and it's a self-contained fire suppression system and that's all you need. Now they're available in different lengths um, and they're basically to suit any type of enclosure, mailboxes, consumer units. Now consumer units is uh, where I think they're going to be most useful because uh, you know as we know the fires start in consumer units across the UK every year. Um, if you're a landlord like myself then you've got some C3s on your EICR because you've got a plastic consumer unit and uh, a C3 is a recommendation to upgrade it or change it to bring it in line with the latest uh, regulations. You don't have to change it, but something you can do to mitigate any risk is to install one of these. They're so cheap. This one, I think, is the medium size, they're about £25. Um, and they can be fitted in sort of half an hour, if that. And uh, they basically um, will it will put the fire out as it starts. And this is the thermoplastic tube. And as the fire starts inside the consumer unit, this will melt at the hottest point, which is obviously gonna be where the fire is. And then it will discharge um, this liquid onto the fire and put it out. Um, they are designed for the size of the consumer unit um, to, put out, to completely put out the fire. Um, it's basically inside there is a liquid uh, liquid extinguishing from DuPont, the chemicals company, um, and it's called FE25, I believe, which was developed as a replacement for Halon gas. Halon is really good for putting out fires, but it's quite um, bad for the environment. So that's what it's for, and it's, uh, it's, it's clean, it's non-corrosive, it's non-conductive, um, so there's no mess to clean up, it's not harmful to humans, and it's not harmful to the environment. So I cannot see how you could get so much peace of mind for so little money. I mean, literally 25 to 30 pounds is what these cost. And they will come with two little P-clips and the plastic bolts, um, which will attach to your uh, consumer unit lid. You can do it yourself if you're competent enough and have a drill, that's all you really need. Or your electrician could do it. And like I say, it should be done and dusted well within half an hour. So I'm gonna do a little experiment today and uh, I'm going to set fire, this I've sort of built a mock-up consumer unit. I'm going to start a little fire inside it and we're going to see how long it takes this to put it out. Um, so I'm just placing mine in here like so, just for ease. And what I've done is I have a 9 volt battery here, which is wired up through the main switch of the consumer unit um, to a bulb which are, you know, just a 12 volt bulb from a, from a car. I've smashed the glass off. And as you turn the main switch on, you see the bulb will light up. And I'm gonna pack some sort of uh, paper and straw in here just to make a little fire. Um, and that will kind of demonstrate a short circuit happening inside the consumer unit. Then I'm gonna put the lid on, uh, switch it on, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. There we go. Oh god. There we go. You see the smoke? Is it gonna go? Whoa, that went with a bang, you see. feel it's warm and um, obviously there was a good fire going in there and um, it didn't take long to get going once I put the fire lighter in and uh, you can see with the amount of smoke coming out of it there was a there was a real good fire going but it didn't take long for the fire to go out now
Here we go, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of a close-up as to what went on. You can see the fire lighter there, which was put out by the extinguishant, and it didn't relight, which was a good thing. There's some blackening, obviously some blackening up the back where uh, there wasn't a good seal against the wall. Um, but none of the cables are damaged, and I think all the RCDs are actually probably in, in, in working order. Um, the tubing itself, you can see just where it melted there at the hottest point and discharged onto the fire. So there we go, that's the experiment over. I hope you enjoyed it, I, I did, um, and it worked really, really well. I'm really pleased with, uh, really pleased with it. And uh, it, it just shows, like I said at the beginning of the video, how much uh, peace of mind you can get for so little money, particularly if you're a landlord, and particularly if you've got plastic consumer units still, then I would fit one of these and uh, you know, you've, you've done what you can to prevent, uh, prevent, prevent a fire from starting in, in, in the property. Thanks for watching and uh, see you again soon. Bye bye.